Hello there guys and welcome back to another Epic in Xreal Maths video. In this video we're taking a look at how we are going to find the series expansion for cos x. We've already found the series expansion for sin x, we've derived the Maclaurin series formula generally. Now let's find it for cos x. So just like sin x, if you watch the sin x video, the way that we do this is by first considering uh, f of x as cos x. Okay, so f of x equals cos x. We then differentiate this thing however many times we need to observe a pattern. So the derivative of cos x is minus sine x. The second derivative of cos x is minus cos x. The third derivative of cos x is sine x. And we'll just do a few more. The fourth derivative of cos x is cos x and we can see that this goes in a pattern because we get cos sine sorry cos minus sine minus cos sine cos you know if we did a fifth derivative we would end up with minus sine again as you might predict if we did a sixth derivative one two three four five six of cos you would end up with a positive or sorry a negative cos here, negative cos x, and so on and so forth. You can see this goes on forever. Now, uh, if we then evaluate each of these at zero, so we do cos of zero, well, cos of zero is one, minus sine of zero, that's zero because sine of zero is zero. M well, cos of zero is one, so minus cos of zero is minus one. Zero, cos of zero is one, minus sine of zero is zero, minus cos of zero is minus one. You can see the pattern goes one, zero, minus one, zero, one, zero, minus one, and so on. So it alternates between ones and zeros, and those ones themselves alternate between being positive and negative. And that goes on forever. You could keep doing this. You could find 100 derivatives or 1,000 derivatives. It would follow this pattern. So what we now do is we simply substitute this into the formula for Maclaurin series. What is the formula for Maclaurin series? The formula for Maclaurin series says that f of x, if uh, you know, f of x is your function, so in this case, f of x is cos x, but in general, f of x is equal to f evaluated at zero plus the first derivative of f of x evaluated at zero. Technically, it's divided by one factorial, so we'll, you know, it, it, one factorial is just one times x plus the second derivative evaluated at zero divided by two factorial times x squared plus the third derivative evaluated at zero divided by three factorial times x cubed. It goes on forever, right? It goes, that's the pattern. We know it. We've seen it before from episode one of Maclaurin series. So how do we uh, figure out what the one for cos, is, cos x is? Well, we simply substitute cos x into what f of x is. So we get that cos x is equal to, and in fact, we can say that it's identical to as well. It's cos x is identical to, and then f of zero. So we start off with f of zero. f of zero is one plus uh, the derivative evaluated at zero divided by one factorial times x. Well, the derivative evaluated at zero for cos x in this situation is actually just zero. We already showed this divided by one factorial times x. The next term is the second derivative. We know the second derivative is over here. The second derivative evaluated at zero is minus one. So we can come over here. We can put our minus one in over here. Divide that by two factorial, times it by x squared, okay? Next term, well, uh, you know, we've, so, we've got a one, zero, minus one. Next term is gonna be a zero, so it's zero over three factorial x cubed. Next term is a positive one. So there's our positive one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add positive one over four factorial times x to the four. And we keep doing this, we keep doing this forever. And if we tidy this thing up, what you get is cos x, equals and is identical to so we can put three uh, zeros in there you get one minus x squared over two factorial you can see that there and i'll move my my head out of the way so you can see that one there as well the, the one over four so plus one over four factorial x to the four minus uh and then of course we haven't done it but you can see here what the pattern is 
it's it's one x to the zero because x to the zero is one divided by zero factorial because zero factorial is one so the number one basically and then notice how all of the powers of x are just even numbers they're just even numbers so uh you know two four the next term is going to be six so it's uh one over uh x to the one over six factorial x to the six uh next term is going to be plus one over eight factorial x to the eight minus one over ten factorial x to the ten etc it's the even numbers the even numbers sine notice was the odd numbers cos is the evens so it's all of the even numbers x squared x to four x to the six divided by their corresponding factorial so two factorial four factorial six factorial eight factorial etc and once again just like how we were with sine we are alternating negative positive negative positive etc etc this pattern goes on forever and this is the series that we get for cos x this works for any value of x because it will converge for any value of x as long as x is in radians just like sine this will only work in radians it does not work in degrees you cannot put cos of 360 degrees in here uh, and it, it give you an accurate answer you can put cos of 2 pi radians because 2 pi radians is 360 degrees but as long as your angle is in radians this will work for any real number the bigger the number the more terms you need for this to be accurate but it will work it will converge to a value for any value of x provided that x is in radians awesome guys brilliant uh, thank you guys so much for watching i highly appreciate it and i'll see you in the next video. Cheers.